Wow, guys, I got a new video about to react to, and Coach went on the view, and she completely destroyed them with facts, and the only thing they could do was reply back with emotion, like always. So I need you guys to stick along to the back end of the video to see what I got to say about it. But right now, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let me know what to react to, about to get right to it. Um, race mongering has been very bad for America. Liberals use it to promote causes that have nothing to do with blacks and, in fact, harm blacks. And the, that excellent lead-in you just gave about um, O.J., I mean, I think that was the moment, having lived near New York City in the 70s and 80s, which was the golden era. It was like Trayvon Martin and the Duke Lacrosse case every day. With the O.J. verdict, white America said, that's it, the white guilt bank is shut down, and that ended up being the best thing that ever happened what are you mean? to what black are you Americans. Talking about? I, I meant what that mean. no longer... Was being acquitted was, was good for who? Yes, because you had millions of white people watching with the equivalent of what in New York we used to refer to as the Brooklyn juries who simply would not convict even guilty black criminals, oh, um, not you innocent know black Hold criminals. up, Ms. Coulter, please yes. stop, please stop. If you're going to talk about race, at least, at least know what you're talking about. At least know what you're talking about. Much you know about being black. Well, this isn't and about black, being black. Well, but you just said this is you just made all these statements about how black people feel. Tell oh, me I how you know that. Yeah, you did. This is not a book about black people, uh -huh. it is a book about white liberals. And I do know, and this is a fact, that uh -huh. once for years, Republican policies on crime and welfare, for example, were called racist. When they finally got implemented after the OJ verdict, I might add, by Giuliani, crime, Giuliani in New York, Reagan and Bush judges overall. Uh -huh. Tens of thousands of black lives were saved. That is a fact. I don't have to know how to how about being black. Actually, but I know because, because you are to be alive you're, and to be dead. You're, 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 what is, what are your facts are a little, just a little shaky. I mean, you you're saying that up. because black people, because <laughs> liberals are, are what? Because liberals have abandoned black people now because... What? I, I don't no, get it. I don't understand. You, I don't think liberals ever cared about black people. I mean, five minutes after the Civil Rights Act of 64, they start calling everything that has nothing to do with black people a civil rights Who issue. Yeah, Abortion on demand, him. homeless rights. So are you uh, saying that liberals don't it. care about black people? Then are you saying Republicans embrace us in a warm, <laughs> yeah. fuzzy... Try blanket? to. We're not embraced back. back but yeah, we tried to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So the Southern strategy was a white liberal thing? No, it was a Republican Less thing. No. And, and also, uh, no, Newt Gingrich calls President Obama the food stamp president. That's not racist? This chapter. Wait a well, second. You know, that, do you really think that was... Do you believe it was racist for Newt to say... That the president is a food stamp president. Well, well, he and you dive into that. that a yes, I'm not a big blood. fan of Newt, so if we sure. could just skip that for a second sure. and get to the Southern strategy, yeah. because I, I've specifically disproved it. It's an absolutely liberal folklore. Um, Republicans were winning the South since 1920. It was the outer states of the South. It was Texas, Tennessee, Black Kentucky, were Virginia. Voting. What are you talking about? We weren't well, allowed to vote. Who was trying to get them to vote? Republicans were. Yeah, and the first, true. and the first Congress, Black congressmen were all Republicans. And the first Black governor was a Republican. talking about Way back, that after in is so different from yeah. that. No, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. that is and definitely right. what we're told. Uh, but in fact, the black, the, right. the Democratic segregationists were all liberal Democrats. It is a lie that they were conservative everybody Democrats. Was it was a Jay segregationist, darling. And then, you know, the basically, they everybody was. was. White well, people were. It didn't matter whether they were Republicans or not. Oh. The first segregationists. Wow, guys, what you just witnessed is what happens when you bring race and Democrat Republican up to someone that doesn't understand them. It's obvious that the host on The View will never let you finish your point. They're just like Whoopi. She tried to throw a race card out there to play victim. And then when I say something like that, I get looked at as I'm the Uncle Tom. I honestly believe when most people throw that card out, they're playing victim. Let me know what you guys think about the video and what do you guys think about race. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And as always, let me know what to react to.